Oof. What's up? Long day. Yeah, same here. How's socializing? Mm, how's not socializing? You boring dad who has no time for friends because you're too busy working and dealing with the fact that we are going into a recession. Surprisingly, tiring sometimes. Yeah, that's why I don't do much of it. I'm glad we can joke about these things. Has anything changed in the kitchen? I see we don't have a fridge, only a microwave. I guess we only take things room temperature or hot tonight or to messaging. Okay, B, I'm so sorry we didn't hang out today. I'll hang out with you tomorrow, I promise. Hey, B, you there? Yes, sir. What are you up to? Doing budget stuff for the shop and watching music videos from the 80s. Those are the exact things you'd be doing if you were like 20 years older than you are. Well, someone had to take over from my mom. I'm just being thorough. Well, you're doing a great job. Thanks. <laughs> Gonna get back to work. Night night. Sorry that you had a boring ass day because I didn't hang out with you. How about get more friends? Make it. Hey -o. Thanks for hanging out earlier. No problem, dude. How's your knifed up hand? I'll live. Mm, uh, I, I'm not sure how Angus Angus fixed me. And also uh, gave me a real talking to about not stabbing my hand a bunch of times in the woods. Ah, uh, good boyfriend. Yeah, he's a keeper. Sorry, I was a bummer at the end there. It's fine, dude, seriously. I just, yeah. Get some sleep, man. Will do. Night night, bruh. Don't call me bra. Brother. Don't call me brother. Dad. Don't call me dad. Son. Wait a second. Dad? Yes, it's me, son. I'm back. Whoa, bedtime? Yes. Take off my little booties. Maybe find a new wardrobe that's not just the uh, shirt that I drew on when I was in kindergarten. I mean, it was cool at the time, but I don't think I can keep living this high for much longer. It has been like 15 years, so... Ooh, a storm. My emotions are getting a bit deeper, given the fact that I now realize that Gregory, the only happiness in my life, is also sad. And I don't even have a bat this time, so I can't like vent with anger. And it's crazy long. At the very least, it's better than- nope, we still have to find the musicians. Fun to know. You're Germ's dad. Beautiful music for the fact that I can't drop off this train. Kind of giving me a dramatic moment, not even let me capitalize on it. I mean, that is suspense if I've ever seen it before. I'm of the assumption that jumping into the crevices of the train is not the answer. Unless I can afford it. Nope. The presumption, of course, being that these dreams are some sort of elaborate metaphor for my own inner anger, my inner sadness, my desire for music, the fact that I always wanted to be a guitar player, but my mom said, no, you will play the bass, and I said, no, I want the electric guitar, and she said, you will be a bass! You are meant to be a background player, and I said, mother, no, why don't you have better dreams for me? And she said, because you were born with nightmare eyes, it all comes together. Awesome springs, <gasps> fell off a cliff, and I hate my life. Wait, we're still good. Oh, we have to do jumpings. And also jump highly. Over here? I could just enter the sign. Oop, oh, I narrowly avoided being smashed right there. Lucky us. I assume both directions are valid. We will go this way. Up and at him. That's only the second one, though. Damn, where's the other fourth one? I feel like I've been to all corners already. This feels like the temple in Terraria, where you go to enter the scary- <gasps> Gregory! Gregory? Gregory's dad? Is Gregory's dad the person I murdered before I left to college? I couldn't get charged as an adult for her, only as a child, so they sent me to reformatory college, which is also why I got kicked out. I can just fall off a cliff, I think, in this direction. Am I losing my pro I lost my progress. It was not the answer. The answer was not pivot. Accept me, Lord, for I have sinned. Take me into your household and let me go somewhere cool this time. I stop moving and I win. The music kind of sounds like a combination of like a circus and like a Phantom of the Opera drama. Victory. Show me my spirit animal of the day. I'm constantly changing because my mood is also constantly changing. It's the bear. It's a... Dog? It's an upside down tuning fork with like teeth and stuff. I am pretty curious if there is a difference in the game. Like, I know that going to different paths t causes, like, different things. If you do a game where you do the playthrough, where you play entirely with Greg or entirely with B, does that change, like, an ending or anything like that? Do I have to befriend somebody to the hardest degree in order to get some cool secret thing? 
OA message. Annual harvest play tonight at the old pickaxe. Come out and see the haunted history of Possum Springs. Happy Halloween, my dude. Get spooked or get something. I would like to choose something. Can I put on an outfit? Do I have at least a D&D wizard hat that I can maybe just kind of shove on my head? That's what adulthood is, right? Using cosplay as, as Halloween instead of actually dressing up as Halloween things. Hey, mom. You look happier today. Mm-hmm. Nope, nope, you're not happy today. Um, you okay? Sure, honey. Hmm, you're lying. <laughs> so, honey, do you feel like talking about school yet? Um, okay, not really. Nah, we'll do it. Where friendship is magic. So, what's the story? I just feel like it wasn't where I should be. Like, I know that you paid for my college, and the reason that we're in crippling debt right now is probably because you realize that all of the tuition you spent that now is wasted is, like, hurting us and stuff, but it is important to follow my dreams, and if college was gonna make me sad, then I guess that's not what you would have wanted for me anyway. Where you should be? What does that even mean? Ugh, okay, never mind. Let's talk about this later. Any idea when you might want to do that? Because, honey, I am all ears. I really am dying to find out. Why you decided to up and abandon all the plans we made as a family. Jeez, Mom. Where is this coming from? You know you're the f <sighs> The first Browski to go to college? Yeah, Mom, I know. I only heard that since I was like six. Well, honey, we've been planning this since you were born. Spent a good 18 years and got into all kinds of trouble. Just for you to decide you'd rather be here? Might as well have taken all the effort and money, and worry, and dumped it in a hole. Oh god, mom. Are you having like one of your mood swings again? Oh god, this is horrible. This is a horrible conversation on both sides. I'm being way too sassy. My mom is just like really dumping a lot of mood on me and like all at once. Hug. Like I'm the moody one in this house. Are you the moody one in this house? Oh, you are the moody one in this house. Well, enjoy this house while we still have it. What? What's happening to the house? Maybe it just isn't where we should be? Mom, this isn't funny. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about anything. Why start now? Go off and do whatever it is you do. You know what? Maybe if I had more examples of, you know, getting out and making something of myself? No. No. You do not get- Maybe you wanted me to get out of here because you never got around to doing it yourself. Maybe I'm just the most recent failure in the line of failures that is your family. I'm leaving now. Okay, uh, that was a bit of something to take in. I think that I might need a little bit of B in my life, if only because I think Greg is- uh, Greg's a lot to handle at once for me in my own moodiness. Maybe a little bit of poetry could do the trick? Whoa, decorations! Well, you can't mess around on Halloween. Jeez! Wanna hear a new poem? Absolutely! It's only my default answer. Bats and the moon. Against the gloom, the night is black. I made a snack. You only ever read poems about food. I microwaved. Pizza I'd saved. Though pizza cold, it breakfast gold. Lies. The cheese is completely ruined once a pizza has become cold. The crust, however, can be enjoyed for days. It really happened. It really did happen. Wow. He takes his poetry from life. The life of eating pizza. There's a downstairs? There's houses down there. I've never noticed. Can I go down there? I don't think there's any been any downward, like, great... So I presume not. I could attempt to get onto the upstairs world again, or I could go steal a pretzel. Although I failed, I, I didn't have like the the desire to do it enough the first time. What's up these stairs? I've never been upstairs before, I don't think. It's interesting that there's just a sharp staircase into the sky here. It's a church! Oh, my mom works here at night. Oh, I don't think today's the day to find that out and actually interact with her, but gosh diddly do, I am her daughter. Hello? Infinite doorways, while the ability to go places you've never seen before? That's crazy. Innovation for a game. I can't even jump on the thing. Peace, joy, and love? I could give a speech. I could jump on the podium. No, too much respect for religion. I couldn't jump on the podium, even if I'd wanted to. Just was not in my nature. 
Is there sometimes people here? Because currently it's empty. Maybe it is a timing. Mom, you teleported. I'm busy. Ooh, uh, how about how about stop? Do people live in here? I got so many rooms. The library. Mm. I think that if I came here when it was like not a horrible day to interact with my mom, maybe she'd let me into the library and I could have some secret book times. As we all know, as a college dropout, my favorite thing is secret book time, so I think that it would probably be my happiest moment. Hey, stop yelling at me. You ripped the head off the statue, you mean lady. You're saying I'm doing something wrong. You're actively, like, sabotaging. People are upset here. Nuke Possum Springs. How did the teenagers get up here? That's dangerous. People think they can just walk up here and it not be dangerous? The hooligans. Can I crawl in here? I can break into somebody's house? Hello, I hope nobody's showering. Or I want to shower myself, so let's uh, enjoy the view when I open it. Ooh, I have to click to enter. Interesting concepts. I've broken into somebody's house. They have a party. It's a building. Whoa, so this is where this stuff ends up. I remember the spring parade. It was so much fun. Until that year that Mallard P. Bloomingro snapped his tether and ran over Chris Evans. The real Chris Evans? Dang. I don't think that they actually were able to afford that. Cancel the parade, cowards. They couldn't cage Mallard. Mallard needed to be free. And neither ropes nor the poor legs of Chris Evans could hold him back. I wonder what happened to both of them. Well, assuming Chris Evans is the famous person, I think you could probably check the internet about that. It's locked, what the hell? This is a fire hazard, yeah. If someone breaks into the back- Oh my god! Oh, is the statue I broke up? Did I destroy a parade thing? Mallard! <laughs> what have they done to you, my boy? My boy! Could I just stick my arm inside of it? Ooh, rats. Mallard, you're pregnant. Oh, they're beautiful. It's a set of twins. It's one of those god things. Like when you have a baby because god? Holy crap, you were the cutest vermin. Who's the best vermin? You are. You look so hungry. Is that why you're um not doing anything? I'll come back with food. Don't die. I, I'll just take you now, actually. Just tickle you? Uh, beautiful music. They're the children of Mallard, and they were meant to be great musicians. They were born to be in the parade. We have to fix Mallard up. The parade is the only happiness there is in life. One of my absolute favorite things when I was a kid. Proudest of the spring parade floats. Dude, this is a tomb. This is Mallard's tomb. Well, it's a good thing I broke in here. Uh, it's a tragic thing that the service is closed, and it's a fire hazard, so everything in here could definitely implode instantaneously should uh, I bring a fire in. I choose to ignore it. Possibilities? I could- if I get on the roof, methinks I could break into possibilities? Have you birds always been here? Excuse me, I'm trying to do violence? Nope, that's not how I wanted to do the violence. Yes. Okay, if I break into possibilities, I'm sure they have their secret pasta storage still in there because it would be a waste to throw it away so quickly. And then I can bring it to the rats. Everything comes together. Now here's a man who loved statues. Don't get a lot of people getting statues made of themselves today. We're secure in ourselves, okay? We don't need the statues to make us feel better. Well, it only feels good if the statues were made by somebody else is the problem with that. Yes. Skyship to the roof? Hello, beautiful lady. I would come to sing to you. What are you doing outside my window? I don't know. Please go away. What you doing? Newspaper? What's in the news? Mmm, Chris Evans finally got over his broken leg syndrome. Crazy, right? Halloween crime down this year. What counts as Halloween crime? Burning stuff, vandalism, pagan stuff. Well, the night's young. Don't you have- <laughs> Don't you do any pagan stuff out there? I'm gonna do all the pagan stuff. I'm gonna pagan so hard and call the cops if you do any pagan stuff. Cops got nothing on demons and fell spirits. Blech. All the cops? You're just stuck in your little room. This person's just watching TV. Okay, I cannot break into Pastoroni Town, but I could break into B's restaurant. Unless I hop so far into the distance that I completely skip over B's place. No, Greg, stop. Greg is trying to compel me to hang out with him, but no, that's not Greg. Wait, what's over here then? Is this? Are you B? It's a diner. That's not where B lives. I've never gone further down here, though. There's more? Is this where Germ lives? Germ Warfare? A heart of home since 1972. It's the Donkey Kong house. 
Germ warfare. I swear you're just standing weirdly inside this parking lot. Is that your job, right? To stare weirdly in the park? You are here. Wow. Teenagers. Hey, germ. <laughs> hey, me. Hey, I'm scams. Scams. That's Jenna. Hi. Hi. I'm Bill Dawn. And I'm Germ. Hi, I'm May. I completely forgot what I was going to say. I just want to hang out with Germ. Hey, Germ, you coming to Harvest Fest? Maybe. Are you guys going? Yeah, we might hop over. Check out the party. I mean, y'all got ghosts here for real, right? Yeah. What? Little Joe, you know? Hey, man. Local legends? My man Tapeworm? <laughs> oh, out in Bright Harbor? He told me he never got out of this town. Because of the ghosts. Oh, that's a load of crap. He sneaks in railways and snatches up the good and the pure. Well, you kids got nothing to fear, then. Damn it, old timer. We're pure as air. We're kids. But we're younger than him? You're all old farts. Alright, well, I guess I'll see you there, then. Nice to meet you. Sure, little lady. See ya, germ. See ya. We don't want to hang out. I was told you like to hang out with people. Ooh. Okay. You're gonna summon a dead cat. You're gonna revive the people that I murdered before I left for college. That's very sweet of you. Maybe my mom would love me again if we did that. She wouldn't have to think about the fact that I uh, failed at not committing murder. Oh, Angus. I forgot you existed. Happy Halloween. Uh, hey, you too. You feeling spooky? Oh, extremely. Can't you tell? Do your spooky face. <laughs> Angus, you're just smiling. And it's adorable, not scary. Oh. Nice effort, though. <laughs> Oh, Angus, we love you. We love you, Angus. I'm sorry about your family. I realize I probably shouldn't tell you I'm sorry about your family, because it's quite possible that Greg was not supposed to tell me about the sadness of your family, but in the long term, I'm sorry about your family. Where does B work again? I think I've walked through the entirety of town. Does she live at- Old Pickaxe is closed. Oh, because she's doing something else. Hey, where's B? You hype for Harvest Fest? Hmm, Harvest Fest is pretty dumb, right? I'm gonna watch a bunch of old Dracula movies from the 60s. Oh, wow, it all comes together. Everything is connected. That actually sounds really cool. It is, gonna get a pizza, too. All to myself. Wow, you have life way more figured out than I did at your age. How old are you? Really? What were you doing, then? Hmm, hanging out in really embarrassing places online, ruining my life. Oh, sorry to bring it up. Oh, it's fine, just a thing that happened. Oh, right, the thing. Yep, that's my advice. Uh, try not to have a thing. Oh, okay. And if a thing happens, just never talk about it and simply forget it. Okay, good conversation. Hope that didn't scar you for life. Ah, everything is so great and harvesty. Which is basically a less spooky Halloween. Whatever. It is basically a child-safe Halloween. I just want to head home and get ready for tonight. I could just do that. Or I could just wander a bit. Take in the harvesty air. Well, I'll get home when I do. Can I walk forward still? Good, good. Is B here? V for coffee. V for smoking. Hmm. V for coffee? V for smoking. I see the conversation. I see where this goes. Hello, auntie. Hey, Aunt Mallcop. Mallcops don't carry guns, May. Jeez, I guess you need that gun for... What are you doing? Blocking off the road. Oh, yeah. Wouldn't want to go to do that without a gun. You know how many times I've shot someone? Uh, no. Tell me. Like, three times? Actually, yes, I do know, because they were all me. Once. You kill him? No. So you're saying you don't really need it then? You should carry a battle axe. That sounds more gruesome, but it wouldn't be more impressive. I'll look into it. We're home? Okay, I never saw B, so... She said- oh, she said she was getting ready for something. I don't know where she lives. I'm a horrible friend. Oh, uh, I thought mom would be here. She's still drinking her, uh, night veil soda? Does anyone want to talk to me? I haven't really done anything. I don't think anything would have updated, unless it knew that I left. It did not. Okay, well... I suppose I'm going to go to sleep then? Even though I've only been awake for an hour? I can't even go to sleep. What is my goal in life? Oh, put a Halloween costume on! It's all always been this. Oh yeah, normal clothes. Oh yeah, time to get spooky. Oh, I should have put this outfit on before I went out. Dingle sauce. Witch da. I'm a witch doctor. Oh, I've been stabbed. I'm a dead witch doctor. Oh. Nobody wants to tell me about my outfit? You guys haven't psychically known that I'm wearing the same outfit I've worn for the last 15 years? That's how college students be? 